Good afternoon, Money and Life Movement. JJ Ramos here. Welcome back to my channel. And welcome again to JJ's Random Thoughts. Now, uh, I'm currently here in Bonchon Festival Mall. I was supposed to do this live, but due to uh, unexplainable connection issues, all right? You know how, you know how the internet is, is here in the Philippines, all right? Slow and unreliable. So I am now forced to pre-record this episode. Okay? In case you, in case you're new to my channel, click that, hit that thing over there to subscribe, and below this video, hit the bell so that you'll stay in the loop regarding my channel. Now, I got a burning question for this episode. Okay, our burning question is. Do you need to read business books all the time? I will give you a backstory to that question. Here it is. When I was uh, when I was just starting out, I was told to always listen to uh, to my upline's upline because it was the most successful. So I did. So I did. All right. I attended his free seminars. Listened to listened to all his uh, advice. And I think one day I asked my direct upline, "What books did, uh, on what books has he read so far regarding business?" I think my up my I think my direct upline said. He hasn't read any books. He hasn't read any business books. I said okay. So that uh, that made me think that he was just winging it, <laughs> right? So right after right after find right after finding out finding out the truth, I started going out of my way and reading books. Reading uh, articles on network marketing, selling, <clears throat> and uh, more recently social media, social media marketing. Okay, there's a lot of personal development and network marketing books out there. Okay, I've tried them all, but my first was MLM Power by James Lee Valentine. Okay? It's not uh, tips and it's not a tips and techniques book in nature. It's a purely motivational book for network marketers. And most recently, I acquired a copy of Eric Warre's GoPro, which I featured in a previous episode. And I forgot the I, I forgot I forgot the number of that episode. I'll just leave uh, I'll just leave a link. I'll just leave a link in the card over there. Okay, just look just look for the, just look for that card, and you're gonna see that link. Now, let's go. Now, with that in mind, here's my here's my burning question again: Should you read business books all the time? The answer is yes. Okay, a big fat yes. I'm not going to tell you why because I've already explained it in the backstory, but I will tell you the how. Okay, if you're just starting out. Dito ba? Ano mo na dito? Oh, wala mo na dito. Okay. We just did, we just did, gro just did a grocery run at Safe More and uh, my mom and sis are going to, going to go to the, uh, going to go to the, to the bathroom. Right, they need to go, to, they need to go. <laughs> so, here's the how, okay? Let's go back to the how. If you're just starting out, Buy one book and read it for a whole year until you absorb the uh, the principles behind it, right? Now, after one year of absorbing of absorbing that book, buy another one, or you can up the ante. You can up the ante by buying two, then read those two for a whole year. Right. 
you don't have to be as voracious as Bill Gates, okay? Bill Gates reads, I think, around 80 books a year. So I've heard, or so I've read, so I've read on the internet. He reads 80 books a year. But you don't have to, you don't have to be that voracious already in your network marketing or business career. Okay? During your first year, buy one book, read it for a whole year. Second year, you can up the ante by buying two new books, read them for a whole year. Okay? You just need to, uh, to fully absorb the principles contained within those books. But, okay, here's the trick. Here is the trick. After absorbing the, th the tips and techniques in those books, you need to apply that. Okay? Apply that immediately. Don't wait for next week. Don't wait for tomorrow. Don't wait for next year. Don't wait for the next sale. Don't wait for the next sign up. You apply it right away. Exacto en punto. Right? Because it pays to take massive action now than later. The payoff is more the payoff is the payoff is uh, more likely to happen and it can be higher. Right? Because if there is one guarantee in this world, if there's one guarantee in the financial world, he who knows first gets paid first. That's, that's the way I see it. Oh, by the way, you should be, you should also base the way you buy books on your fin or, or on on your on on your budget. Okay, there are lots of ways to acquire books. You buy you buy the hardbound, you buy you buy the paperback, you can buy the pa paperback version. There's a CD version of it. There's all there's also a uh, an MP3 version of the audiobook. Okay, there's lots of ways to acquire uh, a version of the book. But the fastest way, of course, is online. Right? Audiobook. I love audiobooks. Okay? I got I got too many books on my shelf to read, right? I have, I have a lot of catching up to do when it comes to those when it comes to those books. So the best way I can catch up on my on reading the newer books is by listening. Audio, the audiobook version. Okay. It's best to have an audiobook version uh, with you wherever you go. Because, hey, I got Grant Cardone's The Millionaire Booklet in my phone tab. I listen to it every now and then, uh, most especially when I'm on, uh, when I'm about to do a business call or a consulting call. It's also motivational in nature, but it's mainly tips and tips and techniques regarding money. Well, that's it. That is my take on the matter. As always, if it's a random thought, it's open for discussion. So don't forget to comment below, right? Last chance for you to comment below is now. Okay, so get in that comment box and put those comments. Put your opinions. I would love to talk about. I would love to. Uh, I would love to converse with you there, right? And if you haven't subscribed, hit the bell or both. Do it now, okay? In Filipino, it's called napornada. Okay, I failed to uh, to do this episode live, so I'm pre. So as a uh, to make up for it, I just pre-recorded it. <sighs> Those are the breaks. Okay, from Bonjour Festival Mall, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Adios, Money and Light Movement.